At Collectability, we love treasure hunting. Sometimes that means going to the far reaches of the world to find a watch that no one's seen before. Other times it means researching and diving deep and hunting for information. And the story I'm about to share with you about the Henry Graves Jr. Mystery Box is a story about hunting for information. First, let's talk about who Henry Graves is. Henry Graves was the greatest Patek Philippe collector of all time. In the 20th century, he almost single-handedly kept Patek Philippe afloat during the Great Depression and all the way up until the 1950s, he was aggressively collecting Patek Philippe watches. The pieces that he brought into his collection, he liked to have custom customized boxes. And this particular box was customized for him. And I'd like to tell you the story of how and when I first saw this piece. It was now, wow, it was in 2010, I mean, early 2011, I was at Henry Graves' grandson's house. His name was Reginald Fullerton. Pete, as he was known, that was his nickname, um, gave me a tour of his house. And everywhere I looked, I saw things from his family history and from the Graves family history. But this box was one of the first things that caught my eye. He, he kept it on the second floor of his home. And I looked at it. And all of a sudden, when I first saw it, I noticed this mother of pearl inlaid in blue. It says, Essay Convidere and has the, um, the crest of the family. This is the actual motto of Henry Graves Jr. So I knew it was one of his boxes. I knew it existed because this is the identical box in size and shape that the Henry Graves Super Complication had. Now, here in front of me, I have a picture of the Henry Graves Super Complication. And this, this is the most complicated Patek Philippe that has ever been made up until um, the Calibre 89 in 1989. And this was delivered to Mr. Graves, Henry Graves Jr. in 1933 for the price of $15,000. This piece uh, resurfaced and sold at auction in 1999 and brought an astounding amount at Sotheby's of $11 million. Uh, a few years later in 2014, it uh, appeared again and brought $24 million and for many years was the record for the most expensive timepiece to be sold at auction. For the complete history of Henry Graves Jr. and his quest to have the super complication. I highly recommend this book called A Grand Complication by my dear friend Stacy Perman. This book is a pleasure to read and I highly encourage you pick up a copy to get the whole context of this story. So back to Pete Fullerton's son. When I was at Henry Graves Jr.'s grandson's home and found this box, my eyes just lit up because this is a piece of history. And I asked him, could I open the box? And I remember to this day, I, I slowly opened it. I saw the, the silk, it said Patek Philippe and Company. And notice it had these um, small pieces of paper. First, in pink, you have this, um, it's a crystal with a movement number, 198015. And below, you see the case number, 417388. And left, there's an original set of platinum hands and it's movement number 198015. So I asked Pete, what's, what's the story? Where, where's the watch? And he looked me in the eye and he told me three times, the watch does not exist. Now this just drove me crazy because how could you have a box, you have the parts for the watch and the watch does not exist. Uh, I asked him, could I investigate further? So I looked behind the silk and I looked for the certificate of origin. And sure enough, I pull out the certificate and it says movement number 198025. And it describes an astronomical double dialed watch, a highly complicated piece, but it wasn't the super complication. It was a new and unknown, different super complication. And here I have pictured uh, archive images approved by Mr. Graves with a signature here to be seen for everyone from the 1920s approving the design for this other super complicated double dialed watch. To this day, we don't know where this watch is, or whether or not it exists. And when I asked Pete, he said the watch also does not exist. So the treasure hunt to find this super complication is alive and well. Everyone's looking the whole world to see if we could find it. But the also the missing watch here for movement 198015 is also a mystery to us. It was a tourbillon made for the observatory trials in the late 1920s, and actually won in 1929, uh, first prize. Now, 
Mr. Graves loved first prizes and he would buy these watches from Patek Philippe and have them cased in platinum or in gold and they would come to him as part of his permanent collection in a box just like what we see here. So this box, after Pete passed away in 2012, went up for auction at Sotheby's and sold for an astounding $33,000. Keep in mind, this is just a box. There was no um, there was no movement, there was no watch, it was just for the box. The buyer at that time is a dear friend and he sold this um, to me a few weeks ago. I'm pleased to say it's now part of the collectability collection. And uh, I'm using this as inspiration to help find the missing watch. And maybe along the way we'll find the missing astronomical watch too. Because at collectability, you never know what we're going to find next. And this story exemplifies the, the hunt for knowledge, the thirst for knowledge, and how we live and breathe all things Patek Philippe.